Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's an SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. All right, for my first play, I'm going with Jamie Jarquez Jr. Over 14 and a half points, minus 115 on FanDuel. It's the 7 o'clock game, Miami versus Boston. He's gone over this the last five games. Played him the last two games. This will be the third one in a row. Uh, last game, he just got 16, but uh, with Butler being out, it's, it's basically him, Hero. You know, he's a rookie. He's been doing really well, and uh, they didn't bump it up, um, but they lowered the odds. It was plus money. Now it's minus 115, but that's all right. Jamie Jacquez Jr., let's go for the hat trick over 14 and a half points. Play number two, I got Al Horford over six and a half points, minus 108 on FanDuel. They got it all the way up to minus 125 on BetMGM. So I got a line shot. Uh, he's gone over this in 9 out of 10 games. Uh, and 13 of 14 games, he's exceeded 6.5 points with eleven point averaging 11.9 points. He's a starter. He don't play crazy minutes, but plays enough. Played 25 last game. But, uh... And I was with them beating them pretty bad. So we got Al Horford over six and a half points. For my third play, sticking in the same game here. There's only two games. Going with Bam out of bio. Uh, I've been trying a new thing, going unders. I don't know, something uh, with us, the way I feel personally is... I don't play unders because I feel like I I try to wish people would do better in life. You know what I mean? Rather than wishing they do bad. But uh, I don't know. It's a new thing I'm going to try. They got the numbers kind of high and uh, jumped out at me. Last six games, he's gone under this. It's under 13 and a half rebounds and assists. Minus 119 on FanDuel. Uh, got it all the way up to minus 140 on Caesars. So, you shop around. All these books, you know, they're free. Obviously, you got a deposit in them. but And when you sign up for them, make sure you use, get ready and uh, save up some money. So, when you put it in, they, they'll meet your deposits or you get free bets or this or that. Make sure you take advantage of all that stuff. But yeah, so we're going out of bio on the, th on the 13 and a half rebounds and assists. Uh, Celtics shoot almost 50%, as well as um, computers lagging. As well as the Heat have been shooting 46% field goal percentage. So, I mean, that's good and bad. It's, might help the assist, but be less rebounds. Well, he's like I said, he's gone under it the last six games, and uh, I think he's going to be trying to score. So, uh, in the way that he's been shooting and everything else, just go for the under. Bam out of bio on the 13 and a half rebounds and assists. Next play, we're going with Valchunas over 24 and a half points of rebounds, minus 104. FanDuel, I got a minus 115 DraftKings. Uh, last two games, he's gone over 30. He had 33 and 31. That's uh, seven and eight points over this, points over rebounds. But uh, he had 20 rebounds last game, 12 to the game before. 
19 points, 13 points. With uh, Zion being out, he's just cleaning the floor. He's grabbing every board as well as he's... I'm sure you could play his double-double, but I'm sure the odds are probably crazy. But, uh, yeah, so we're going Valanciunas over 24.5 points and rebounds. And for my last play, it's in the same game here. Instead of stopping, I'm just going to jump right into it. I'm going with Herbert Jones over two and a half assists. Uh, minus 119. One nineteen uh one twenty on uh FanDuel, one twenty five on DraftKings right now. The last two games he's gone four and four. Um I'm realizing he's got a nice two man game going on with uh Trey Murphy the third. I think his name is a little like uh give and go. He's been passing to him, he's been scoring, they've been doing it back and forth. So, uh, to go over two and a half, you know, he's vibing with this dude on his team. So, uh, and I, I've noticed it happening. And uh, he's exceeded two and a half assists in four of the last five games on the road, averaging four. So, you know, I said I was fading the Pelicans, but with the two games, I did en enough research to where. I'm comfortable with these plays, the Valachunas and uh, Herbert Jones over two and a half assists. Look out for uh, pinned comments. If uh, I see any live plays or just put up new bets that I find later in the day that uh, they'll be on there. As well as I'm still, the game's still going on, so I don't know what's going to happen with Kyrie and uh, Harden, the rebounds. But uh, it's been a real shitty day, and uh, these types of days, you just got to move on and just forget about them, and I already forgot about them. So it is what it is. Uh, anyone lost money, I apologize. You know, I lost money too. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you can't win them all, right? You know, uh, fucking KD... That man came out and did nothing. Then he caught two fouls, and he just missed everything. I played him in the first quarter. Uh, played, uh, what's his name, in the first quarter, over one and a half rebounds. He ended up getting one and getting in foul trouble. They sat him. He only ended up playing like five minutes, maybe six, because he came back in towards the end. But uh, So that didn't happen. And then the rest of them, psh, like I said, I already forgot about him. So let's move on. East Money the name, getting paper the game. If you could, like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you, appreciate you. On to the next one. <laughs>